Hi there Aquarius, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at September 26th through October 2nd. And this is a really good harmonious easy week for you. We had a very difficult Mercury retrograde spell. We're over that now and on Monday the Sun and Jupiter can join in Libra, your fellow air sign, and really put a nice harmonious loving energy out there which is something we probably all need like a nice big hug. It's been interesting this last week of course with the announcement that Brangelina is no more and that happened while Mercury was retrograde. Angelina filed on the 15th which is smack bang in the middle really of Mercury retrograde and if you read my love and advice article I did suggest that people would be breaking up and maybe they'd get back together again and maybe they'd break up again. I don't know if these two are going to get back together again. It sounds very like someone's very upset. They're both making statements which is highly unusual for celebrities so it'll be interesting to see what happens. It seems to be the only thing people can talk about right now in Los Angeles. Aquarius with Saturn in Sagittarius, redefinition is what it's all about for you right now. What are your goals? What are your dreams? Where do you want to be? Where do you see yourself in a year? Who do you see yourself with in a year? Which friends really matter and who could you live without? This month travel is beautifully spotlighted with so much planetary activity in Libra and with planetary activity in Sagittarius, Saturn, the planet of time management in your 11th house of hopes, dreams and wishes. If you don't get away, you get out and expose yourself to stunning art, stirring music, add new ideas that have the power to shift your consciousness, take time to recharge. Now the Libra new moon on Friday is a perfect example of expanding your emotional and physical and mental horizons. Maybe go and, and see an art exhibit that no one else wants to go to. So what? You go by yourself. You don't have to go with someone to see a movie, to see an art show, to see a Broadway show, to see anything anymore. Going to a restaurant on your own you know, back in the day would signify there was, you know, that you were a spinster, that you were a crazy cat lady, that you had no friends, that you were a loser. Now, every time you go into a restaurant, there are people, you know, on their computer, on their uh, iPads and phones eating. You know, it's just, the, it's just something that has happened slowly but surely, and that's a good thing. You don't have to be joined at the hip with people to have a good time. And this is, you know, a time for you to rediscover what it is you want because Pluto, the planet of regeneration and rebirth, and Mars, the planet of energy, are both in your 12th house of past karma and subconscious. And they are forcing you to think about where are you going? What are you doing? Who are you? So it's going to be very interesting for you. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I'll speak to you again next week.